We continue now with more on that breaking news. We first brought you this morning at 11. Five people seriously hurt after a woman drove into a Brugger's Bagels in Wallingford. Yeah, it happened this morning and police say they don't know how that driver lost control of her vehicle. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joins us live now from outside that store in Wallingford with more. Amanda. Yeah, hey, Kevin and Amber, you can see crews behind me now patching up those shattered windows after that woman drove through here. It all happened in the middle of the morning rush, and police tell us that all five people who were injured were customers. A white Jeep sitting inside a Brugger's in Wallingford after police say a 63-year-old woman barreled inside the bagel shop Friday morning, seriously injuring five people. A customer was driving in to pick up her order, and unfortunately... Don't know exactly what happened to the automobile and why it accelerated the way it did. The SUV took with it the front doors, where now the Brugger's baked fresh sign dangles. And on the ground, shattered glass and a shoe left behind in the chaos. Yeah, that's too bad, especially at Christmas time. The SUV came to a stop up against a booth. Police say those injured were sitting in those booths enjoying breakfast, while others were in line to order. And this is a, a frightening situation. You know, everybody is uh, not guarded at this time, right? You're just coming in for maybe a coffee, a sandwich, a bagel, and uh, this is something very unexpected. No employees were injured, and neither was the driver. The SUV was towed away by late morning, and now the investigation begins on how this happened. You see, it's still un under investigation, but it seems like it was uh, some trouble with the accelerator. Now, police have not yet released the names of any of those victims, but we do want to tell you that we're told none of them were children. Uh, police do tell us that that driver is cooperating. Live in Wallingford, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News. Kevin.